Hello all and welcome to my channel Infosec Geeks. This is Asad Ahmed and today I am going to show you a very interesting vulnerability that is local file inclusion or LFI. So the first step is to open your browser and visit google.com. I have already opened my browser. I'm going to visit google.com. Okay. The next step is in the search type this doc. I'm copying it, placing it here, and searching. Right. Basically, Google Docs are special type of queries using uh, operators to find specific type of files information and pages okay I have already researched and find a LFI vulnerable website so we can start as quick this is a website okay let's open it open it in a new tab I'm going to turn on my VPN again refreshing it third step was to try to find website for perfect LFI candidate we already got it so I'm going to run home page Okay, now clicking on biography. Let's search first what is LFI. So LFI, a local file inclusion. So local file inclusion is to trick the web application into exposing or running files on the web server. An LFI attack may lead to information disclosure, remote code execution, or even cross-site scripting. Typically, LFI occurs when an application uses the path to a file as input if the application treats this input as trusted, a local file may be used in the include statement. Right? Here are the some examples of LFI in action. Let's start our video. This page is loading. Load another page. So I'm going to use this etc password I'm going to I'm trying to read the username of the server from this web page okay and yes I can now read the Username of this server. 
so we are root as you can see here and I'm going to read this shadow file let me try it testing it here and yes we have all the username and their encrypted passwords Let me show you something. What are the differences between these two? So etc password file aims at user account details while etc shadow aims at the user password details. The password file is world readable and shadow file can only be read by the root account. As you can see here that we were root that's why we can uh, see the content of this shadow file. If we were not root then we cannot open this file or read its content. The user's encrypted password can only be stored in etc shadow file. So basically the etc shadow file in the Linux uh, stores the user password in encrypted format. For further study, I'll provide a uh, few links in the description. You can go ahead and read them for the better understanding. So the next payload is etc host. Yes, as you can see here, we can now read the etc host configuration file of the remote server of this website. Let's try to read what type of version. So yes, we are currently playing on Ubuntu version 9.3.0 with Linux version 5.4.0, right? This is OS details. Also AMD64 reviews that this version of Ubuntu is 64-bit. another payload and yes you can see this environment variables from this payload normally if we can if we are able to read uh, these environment variable contents then there is a possibility that we can upload a web shell the backdoor in this server
we have an other fail node. Yes, and we can read some other information using this hello. Now trying to read this prox help status. So we can see some running process of a current user you can also see that vm.exe that this ubuntu is running in a virtual environment right so that's all for this video i hope you like this video